Hey everybody, <clears throat> back after a very relaxing holiday and my first video I have a number of videos that I want to put up but my first one is the Itic Beer New Year's Challenge 2015. I kind of um, initially said that I was going to do my Knights of Griffin Space Marines just over the course of the whole year and that would be sort of the New Year's Challenge. but. I got to thinking about it, and I've changed my mind, <clears throat> mainly just because I want to get to it sooner than later, and I already had some things planned before that, and although it is going to be a big job for me this year to work on my Loyalist army, because even though I have a little bit of Eldar and I'm starting to do some chaos, my main thrust for Warhammer 40k is to do a Loyalist Marines army, and I started that Knights of Griffin chapter last year and I want to get a lot of work this year done on it. But really um, I've got the project of my Musk and Tomahawks um, British regulars that I'm going to be doing next and then I wanted to do three character models and the first one I'm going to do for is the is the Eldar Avatar from Forge World. I have this little history um, this is really long overdue for me um, the first thing was is I got this for my birthday last year, and my birthday's in February, so that shows how long I've actually had this. But the way it started was I'd gotten it, and th these pieces in front of you, I actually got broken um, from Forge World. Either, either there were minor imperfections or broken. Most of them were significant. Like, from a minor per perfection standpoint, the torso right here, you can see, was snapped, where there's this piece here. That was the most minor thing. Like, that was just broken off. Could have argued that I could have just glued it on, but the earring on on this guy was completely snapped off as well, and then this piece was snapped in half. <clears throat> Being that that was my first Forge World order and given Forge World prices, I would not accept that. <laughs> so I called them and just you know I shouldn't really have to patch up too much when I'm paying those kind of prices, and so I just they were great about it. Just sent everything out. That actually delayed me, but I got into bolt action and I just got really busy, and so. I have a number of things from that time that I just haven't done for that reason. And now this year, um, I would have to say this year is going to be very much a 40k year for me. Because last year wasn't. I've done some 40k, but for those of you that are newer to my channel, you may have noticed that I've just done a couple of things. Well, this year is going to be a lot of 40k. Getting back to Nick's New Year's challenge, um, <clears throat> i uh looking forward to doing this. Um, the plan for this, well, a couple more things, is um, I was going to do this alongside Tristan because he was actually doing an avatar and he did a really great interpretation of an avatar. Um, it really looks excellent. And um, But I just had other things going on at the time. I was working on other things and I never got around to it. So that was a bit of a, a missed opportunity to sort of have a joint project and timing. And it's kind of appropriate that I do the avatar for Nick's New Year Challenge because I'll actually post a link um, to Nick's video on the avatar. He did the same exact avatar with the spear, and he did a really, really good job on it. Um, I was really impressed with his paint job, and he spent... <clears throat> I remember how many hours he spent on the one model. When you go through his series of videos, I'll put the final one up, but if you, if you want to look and go back at it, he spent a really long time on it. Um, lots of painting time. But it came out amazing. Now, I'm not planning on doing this um, in a traditional sense. A lot of times I do just do the traditional look, like, you know, that a typical color scheme, uh, which for the avatar, it would be very much like molten black, black molten rock, like, you know, with fire, um, which is difficult to paint. Um, I'm not avoiding it from that perspective, because I'm actually planning on doing something very similar that I think will also be difficult, but I've never seen an avatar done this way. Now, I've talked about it on the channel before, but I... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I've talked about it on the channel before. I'm planning on doing this as sort of a Beal Tan Eldar interpretation of the avatar. And I'm interested in your guys' thoughts. I'll kind of mention it right away that I'm kind of settled on, on a plan, so I'm interested in your thoughts. I would appreciate suggestions, but there's a good chance that I'm going to do this because I've thought quite a bit about it. But maybe you could suggest a twist or 
or another idea that might also be better. Um, but I'm planning on doing this sort of like black with the the crevices bright green. But and that was my initial plan, and I'm still kind of doing that. But when I thought about it, there are two things that I don't want this to come out looking like. Not because they're bad, but because it's already done quite a bit. One is I don't want it to look like a Necron Eldar in the sense that it's black with bright green and that's it. Sort of just like a contrast of really bright green and black or blends and have it that kind of contrast to make it almost look like a Necron color scheme because that's already done for the Necrons and I don't want it to, I want to do something different. I also don't want <clears throat> this to look like a wood elf avatar. Um, and what I mean by that is I don't want it to look so much like nature um, that it almost looks like it belongs on Warhammer Fantasy wood elves because that's already done. Like that's There's a place for that and, and that's not what I'm shooting for. What I'm shooting for here is something in between. I want it to be cosmic looking, like space looking, space elves 40k. But I also want it to be Bieltan, which does incorporate that nature look with the vines, you know, with some of the color scheme, with the green. So, what I think I'm going to do is have it as black, but some dark grays to so, sort of have a, a bit of a stone look. Um, but not a lot of browns and sort of vegetation kind of thing. Like, and so, but then still the bright greens, um, and I think I'll have it fade likely into an even brighter green or even to a yellow in some spots to try to emulate kind of like a cosmic fire a bit. Trying to use really similar technique um, with the contrast of the black in the, in the fire like you would do with normal fire, but trying to make it more like a fairy fire, if you will, <laughs> for those of you that play D&D. &D. Um, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, this is a big stretch for me, and it's a test, and it's, it's, it's unknown territory, so I hate to do that on a forge roll model, but I am going to sort of stretch myself and try something different that I've not done, um, because I want to see it. Uh, I, I want it to be unique. I just kind of want to do it that way. Um, interested, if you guys have any suggestions on that theme, that I can add to, replace, um, you know, I, I'm definitely interested, but I've been thinking about, the, I've had a long time to think about this one, I've been thinking about it in a while, and I think that's kind of what I'm settling on. Um, so beyond that, uh, like I said, I'll be doing my three character models, this will be the first one for the Idip Beer Challenge, right after I do finish my American Colonials for Musket and Tomahawks, and during that time, with both of the models, I'll be working on a cabin um, for that game. But uh, I'm really excited to do this one. Um, in some ways, I've been very intimidated by this model because it's such a cool model. It was that first Forge World order I, order I did, and I'm doing something different. And so there's just been a lot of things that are a bit um, intimidating, too. Although, um, you know, I, I've been starting to enjoy stretching myself on some different models with new schemes, like that Chaos Sorcerer was an example where I had a little bit of that intimidation too, uh, but I, I was pretty happy with the way that one came out. Alright folks, so Idic Beer um, 2015 New Year Challenge, this is the first episode. Take care.